Okie doke. So after a bit of work, we've got uh, four legs that uh, are similar to each other and have been smoothed out a bit. And uh, so now I'm going to start to uh, carve the ball and claw feet. And what we have here is uh, Mary May's uh, directions or template uh, for carving a Philadelphia ball and claw. And um, I scaled it down. Hers uh, was for a two and three quarter inch foot, and I've used it uh, before to to make others. And uh, it works very well. She has an excellent plan, so you can get a a video. And I think she probably provides this uh, along with the video. Anyway, I scaled it down to two and five eighths, and cut out the pieces, and um, marked off. The uh, bottom here so that uh, it has the appropriate circles and uh, the sides this is the front and uh, this is the two sides the two back sides so uh, we should be uh, ready I did all four at the same time so that uh, I wouldn't forget uh, what I did <laughs> and uh, so I'll be ready to start carving. Well it's snowing outside so it's a good day to be in the shop. So we're going to start to carve the ball and claw. The first thing we want to do is make a cylinder all the way around. So I'll start by lines that we uh, drew before. I'm using my V-chisel here to Following the pattern that we laid out earlier, start to carve it out. All right, I'm starting to get it to be a cylinder on this one side. And um, got a straight chisel here that I'm just using to round it over. And I'm rounding down to the line that we uh, circle that we put on the bottom of the uh, so there's the circle the outside circle later on we'll carve it down to the inside circle and it's uh, reasonably uh, 
round. You could check it with a uh, square to see that it's uh, going straight back. Truly a cylinder. So we got one down and three more to go. Alright, at this point I'm just about finished up my fourth on the uh, fourth side so that we've got our uh, cylinder The, uh, the back two, the top of the back two balls, and we're just about there. And sometimes it's a challenge to get them the same slope as the front, and to keep them the same size as they are each other. I'm just getting rid of the last of the line that defines halfway up and halfway down. And that looks like a ball, I hope. You're supposed to look at it from all angles and see that the uh, slope is the same front and back and side to side and then uh, when you look at both of them they're supposed to be equally high and uh, be the same shape so that's uh, 
I think the we're going to stop here uh, with the back two, and then next uh, video we'll start with the uh, front ones, which are a little bit different.